YouTube invited me out to New York City for their first ever Creators for Climate Action Summit and of course I had to vlog it. I had such an incredible time connecting with other creators and hearing climate activists speak on their panels. But let's rewind back to the beginning. When I first landed, I had some free time so I thought I'd try thrifting in New York. We're at the first thrift shop, 2nd Street, Soho. Okay, how cute is this actually though? I just found these pants, they're rayon, vintage. A little long, but with sneakers, it's such a vibe. And it's costing me like 40 USD for the shoes and the pants. Stretch it. Let's go. Wow, but we made it to Second Streets. I found some pants. These ones? This is such a nice room. I'm so grateful to be here right now. This is the washroom. There is a see-through shower and then a king-sized bed. And then look at the little, the attention to detail is amazing. Of course, we have the Monos luggage coming in clutch and then my Samara bag. All ethical, sustainability-minded. This is just an amazing so far. I am like so, in shock that I'm here right now. So we're staying at one hotel near Central Park and I have always been obsessed with a one hotel chain because they are a sustainable hotel chain. I'm gonna unpack now and like live in this room a little bit. I bought my first tarot deck. I'm excited to pull a card later. Let me show you what I brought. I know for a fact that young me would look at this wardrobe now that I just unpacked and be so in awe and inspired by myself. Most of this stuff is thrifted. Organic cotton shirt, my thrifted tuxedo, my thrifted silk shirt. What time is it right now? 2.22. Angel number, I need to look that up. I just got ready for the first event and I'm nervous. First time first YouTube event, first time meeting other creators in real life. Let me show you guys the outfit quick. Maybe it's easier to show you on here. The lighting's way better. This is the outfit. Thrifted trench coat, thrifted jumpsuit, outfit repeating to the max. I've worn this outfit throughout like the last <laughs> three, four years since I've had these pieces. Pauline bag, which is new. I feel like I might want to lower the straps a little bit. That's a bit aggressive. And then little sandals. What if we did a summit where we invited creators to participate with experts and activists and scientists to really understand what's happening in the world and how they can be a part of it? We're here tonight because we share this common bond to want to see the world address the challenges of climate change. Your platforms are going to help people understand that only through authentic action on climate change will we make a difference within our lifetime. Got to Pier 57. Very cool. Um, first of all, welcome you guys on behalf of YouTube and um, obviously on behalf of Global Citizen. Bianca Morris is an Ugandan climate activist. He became involved in the fight against climate change after flooding destroyed his family's farm. Climate change is really happening now. Uh, yeah. 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 Navigate the sphere of greenwash. Yeah, so I have three kind of main tips. The first is talk about climate. Regardless of what niche you're in, there's a climate tie-in. You need to find that and you need to just lean into that. You can start to talk more about it and learn more about it yourself. Tie it into your content. Thousands or maybe even millions of people follow you and the climate crisis is too urgent not to talk about it. The second thing is when you get a creator brief or you're talking to brands, 
Make sure you ask the questions that are hard hitting. Ask them what the terms they're using in their briefs mean to them. What does sustainable mean to them? What does carbon neutral mean to them? What part of their supply chain does that apply to? Because you don't want to be using these words when they're meaning a lot less than they sound like they're meaning. Uh, and then thirdly, talk to your audience and ask them for input. You're not supposed to be experts on everything and no one should expect you to, but it's a lot easier if you get input from your community and they can help you out with what helps them with sustainability and what's helping them to better understand the climate crisis. Tide is really bad for our water and it's really bad for our health. Let's talk about their formulation first before we talk about my water usage, right? There's no such thing as a product you can buy that's good for the planet, right? The planet is composed of these ecosystems if I buy a reusable water bottle, that doesn't do something good for the planet. We really need to be moving beyond the things that we can buy, because I think that's a lot of sustainability right now, like zero waste swaps and that, and into ecosystem restoration, or organic farming, and the things that actually heal the earth, right? Harm reduction is not the same thing as healing. So harm reduction is important, but those are very different concepts. It's on us to uncover the hidden parts of supply chains that companies have intentionally hidden. Mm -hmm. So it's on us to do that exposing, um, and I think that's an awesome way to use our platform. So keep doing what you're doing, totally agree. Um, we should be talking about ethical supply chain and, and manufacturing at, as much as we talk about the planet because they go hand in hand. I just oh, want to oh, sorry. Exactly. Yes, oh, we, were all, have to we were all, we were all living for it. For you guys today is not only to have some fun and get to know each other more, but also to talk about shorts. I'm vlogging. Wait, no. oh, let me let me prep my. Okay, okay, good. Because it's really really cool. It feels good. Yeah. 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 I finally met Shelby. Oh. We've been having great conversations though that hopefully will change the game. I think so. We definitely have been in the ears of some pretty important people. Yeah. <laughs> We just got to the hotel for a bit. I wanted to film a quick outfit of the day before I change. All sustainability minded, of course. This is a top by Bijan Pure, and is actually made by a group called the Sahili Women. And they help employ women that are Pakistani Hindu refugees in India so that they don't have to work in like the minefields or in unethical conditions. I absolutely love this. I wear it so often. And then these are my thrifted trousers. They were from Zara, but they've been really great quality. They're the only pants that fit me right now. But I thrifted them from um, Fashionably Yours on Queen Street a few years ago. And then I'm wearing these boots from Aloha's, so made on demand. Earrings from Soko. And then I'm wearing my earrings from Wolf Circus. Okay, you, you can't see that at all. But it's been a really fun day so far. We made it. Look at everyone filming. In immersive installations, each room uh, it's all made with garbage. So, for example, this is uh, Samuel Green. Uh, she take all the book uh, from the library of the of the book that the library threw away, and she fold it and created these hundreds of thousands. It represent the honeycomb, the beehive yeah. that are being protected. This is incredible. This is amazing you. that you put this together. <laughs> these pants. I thrifted these so many years ago. I'm so tired. Everyone's applying glitter on. I'm glad that I brought them. Oh my god, it looks so good. Yeah, the lighting in here is way better. Okay. Well, 
We made it inside. I'm sweating. <laughs> this is my sewing? Yeah. Wow. Makeup. Oh, I was impressed. Got... Yeah, I mean, the Jonas Brothers! <laughs> We're waiting to go on stage. Yay! We're walking out to the We're on stage. Few more minutes before checkout, so I want to try to take a quick photo in this room because it's so pretty. About to check out, this was such an amazing weekend. I am so grateful to YouTube and Global Citizen for having us here. I just packed all of my things, even my big bag, into the monos. All right, we're going. Goodbye, beautiful washroom. Goodbye, beautiful bed. Bye hotel, bye New York. All right, transition into my living room. I've been editing as you can see. I'm deciding between filming on my phone or doing a little photo booth moment because it's 10 p.m. Wolfie's already sleeping on his little bed, but I realized that I didn't film an outro. So here we are back in my little loft. It's honestly pretty cozy. I don't think you've seen this perspective. Please bear with this quality, but this is editing Cynthia here. And I hope you guys, you know, understand, but I wanted to wrap up this video. I realized that it's going to be two weeks since that New York trip tomorrow. So I really wanted to get this up. I love that I could be part of YouTube's first ever creators for a climate action summit it was so cool to see some climate activists that i've always followed on social media speak in real life and be able to meet a few of them as well i really wish we had the time to go to the climate strike and a few other events that were happening for climate week but it was a super jam-packed schedule and that's totally okay but i'm really excited to see how the next iteration of this summit goes and as always you know that i have my feedback for the team and i love how open they are to it as well i think with all these things like i'm so impressed by how this was their first one but I think as a creator who's been in this space who cares about sustainability literacy who cares about climate education we're so beyond the you know turning your top off when you brush your teeth or washing your clothes on cold and I think that there is so much that YouTube can do by empowering their creators to speak about things like this. And I think one thing that's really cool is how they're advocating for creators to really think about and question and ask the brands that they do brand deals with more about you know, how they do their business, about their sustainability initiatives, about what they're doing for the climate crisis. So I'm really excited for what they have in store. And I honestly do feel really inspired and motivated and supported after this weekend. I haven't really posted sustainability content in like a year because of where my mental health was. It's honestly exhausting to do the research for those videos. But after doing the summit, I really feel like the spark is lit again, where I know that this content is necessary and I know that there's a need for it. So, and I miss doing it too, you know, but it was just because I didn't have energy to do it, but I'm excited to get back into it. With my energy slowly coming back over the last few weeks, I finally have the space and the energy to think about the sustainability content that I wanna be planning and filming again, which I'm really excited for. So honestly, this weekend in New York with YouTube was the perfect timing because it was like just that extra nudge that I needed to, feel re-inspired and motivated and like supported again to do this. So if there are any themes or topics about sustainable fashion, sustainability in general, um, or, you know, ethical manufacturing that you guys are curious about, or any brands you're curious about, please comment them down below. But yeah, there's so much that I want to say because even though I haven't been talking about it or creating content about it for a year, I'm still keeping up with everything that's happening. Anyway, I'm going to end this little catch up portion here um i hope that you guys enjoy this video 
and i hope that you guys are doing well please leave a like comment subscribe hit the notification bell follow me on instagram and i'll see you guys in my next video love you bye everyone